you might save a WNDR 4700 Netgear. So this gentleman wrote this really great program that is called uh, NMRP Flash and that he has on GitHub. So you can use this program with this command line to basically take dd-wrt uh, check file and flash it directly to a bricked Netgear router and it worked very very well. So let's go over how you can do that. Here we go on the history of my login and I've basically done a git clone on this stuff that this guy has and uh, then went into the directory and I did a make on it and then after the make was done I copied this thing. So did a make on it um, and then I became super user and I copied it to the uh, user local bin directory. So, so, so now we see how this works and I simply copied this thing, this program, um, to use local bin so it's in the path and then you can use the program. So. This is the command that I find very useful, and you have to find your Ethernet connection for your wired Ethernet minus EN0. And so to do that, you can run over here to, and make sure your Wi-Fi is turned off. You don't want Wi-Fi turned on. So make sure your Wi-Fi is off, network preferences. So Ethernet, you want to be on this network. So you can set a static IP here on the 192.168.1. something. You can call it 10 or something. Router doesn't matter, but in subnet mask should be like that. And so you could say configure using static or, or manual if you want. Just make sure your subnet is on 192.168.1. And that's really about it. Then you can simply let this thing go and run. So now you want to get your correct file to use. So I got this file here from the DDWRT site, and I basically got this, I think, from the repository, which is in Germany or somewhere. But um, FTP colon slash slash FTP dot DDWRT dot com, and then I grabbed this file from betas. So you want one of their check files, and this has to match what router you're using. In this case, I was restoring to a uh, uh, WNDR 4700 not v2 just a regular router and that's what i did so once you enter this command it will look for the router and and if it finds it it'll flash so i don't want to reflash the router but if i would run this command I'll tell you what i can i can turn the router off and and actually i'll reflash it show you how it works so let's turn it off I'm going to now invoke the command again. That's not what I want. I'm going to this one here. And I'll reflash it because I'm going somewhere, so I don't care. Here we go. And once you start it up, it says I can't find the file. Okay. Here we go. That will start it going. We'll turn the router on and it'll find the router on the back of the It's really, really cool. Router's now on. And it found it. It's saying the found the router and that's pretty much how it works. It'll take some time. Let it run and you can watch it go. It's Easter and time to go out for some Easter dinner, so I'll come back. I gotta get some clothes on here for dinner. Let that run for a bit.
All right, I'm not sure what it's doing, but I'm not going to wait. Um, we'll see how it turns out. It turned out last time fine. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.